So you'll see that here I've got two variables and down here I'm just echoing name is eight years old. So we're going to get John is 20 years old, just like so. It would probably be an overkill to use OOP here, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to do it anyway. So the first thing that we need to do is create a new file and we're going to call this person.php. And inside here, we're going to declare a class and we do that with the class keyword. So class person, and then below here, we're going to set some properties. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, a property is essentially just a variable and we can predefine them in, in a class. So if we just say public name and we duplicate this for age and for now, just understand that this is a variable. You don't need to worry about this, this public keyword. We're going to be covering visibility in a later video. For now, just realize that here we're, we're creating a property. So what we can do now is we can include this file into the, into the index file. We can instantiate it, which will create a new object in person in this variable here. And then we can say person name equals John and person age equals 20. And now we can delete this and just say here person name and person age. So now if we go back to our browser, we should hopefully get the same result. John is 20 years old. So now what we can also do is actually create a method, which is essentially just a function. And although we probably wouldn't do this in the real world, I'm going to export this to a, to a method or extract it to a method. So I'm going to say public function again. Don't worry about this, this keyword here, public function sentence. And I'm just going to return this. And then we can just say echo person sentence. And hopefully, okay, here we need to change this, this person variable to this. And basically what this means is this current instance. So it's going to return this property here. Here we're going to return this property here, which we actually set in here and the same with age. So now if we refresh, we get John is 20 years old, just like before. So that is the absolute fundamentals of OOP. Obviously that's not all there is to it, but now we have a foundation. We can work upon that and gradually get better as developers.